Hey there, family. As promised, this is Cam's first offering for this month's Hashtag Another World October Challenge. Originally, she'd intended to post this little vignette as a written piece. But when I read it, well, <laughs> this one just had to be told out loud. So without further ado, family, we present the entry for October 1st, Full Moon Vibe. October comes to Appalachia with chill, damp mornings and mostly balmy afternoons slice through with a crisp breeze and the rustling of leaves. She sets the woods ablaze with a ride of russet colors, reds and oranges and yellows and browns of every shade and blows the sweet aroma of wood smoke through the hollers of an evening. This October comes with a harvest moon hanging full and swollen and bright over Appalachia, shining her light into every holler and branch. The full moon sings in the very blood of the green itself and, of course, those touched by it. In Esau County, Virginia, it finds young Dealey Hubbard and her family home in Boggs Holler. She's out in the yard back of the cozy house left to her by her mamma, Gloria Ann Boggs, setting out mason jars full of fresh, clean spring water on an old stump in the yard. From a branch of an old twisty apple tree, she hangs a little charm she's made for a young couple in town who, despite their most enthusiastic efforts, have found themselves unable to conceive a child. Now, Dealey hadn't lived in Esau County long, and though many of the older folks seem hesitant to rely on her just yet, which makes good sense, she's still learning the healer's craft after all, studying the books and notes her mamma left behind. Those closer to her age have been more willing, and she's found a pretty warm welcome overall. Her daddy's cousin, the Bledsoes, have been particularly kind, driving out to introduce themselves as soon as word was out that she'd come to live in Boggs Holler and regaling her with funny stories about her daddy growing up. She feels a sense of home, of roots, that she's never felt before. It's a cool night, the first real cool night of the season, but Dealey doesn't mind the chill. She smiles as she gazes up at the glowing orb in the clear, velvety, dark sky. Despite the late hours, she's wide awake and full of vigor. She's still a young girl, after all. And when the moon calls, she answers, leaving the yard behind to run into the familiar woods that surround the bog's property. She need not fear the woods here, family. This is home. And this patch of the green watches over its own. A ways south, a dozen or so miles outside of Baker's Gap, Tennessee, Marcy and Ellie Walker have made similar preparations. Restocking the contents of a particular cupboard in the big kitchen pantry of the imposing log house known officially as Pleasant Evenings Enterprises, and locally as simply the Walker House. The various tools of their work set out to soak up the blessing of the hunter's moon. The two sisters sit in rocking chairs on the back porch of the Walker house, and they listen. From a few miles off up in the woods, they hear it. The singing of wolves. Marcy and Ellie listen intently for a moment, neither one speaking, ears attentive to every howl and yip, every nuance and tone of that feral chorus, and... Then they relax. The voices of the wolves are sonorous and tend to echo. It's hard to know for sure what direction they're coming from, but the Walker sisters have kept a watchful eye on this situation for a good many years. And they've learned the trick of it. The song they hear isn't coming from the abandoned, overgrown holler known as the Clutch, nor does it sound like the hunting song, the blood song. They'd once learned to dread. It's a song of kinship. Somebody's found a shape that feels like home. 
and a family to share that with, and that's always cause to celebrate. They're just kicking up their heels a little bit is all. <laughs> Good for them. And speaking of kicking up their heels, it's an awful nice night, Ellie, Marcy says. I think I might pour myself a little sip of that apple wine Miss Lunsford traded us for the eggs last week. Fancy a glass? Her sister smiles, stretches her legs, and props her heels up on the porch rail. Think I might have a drop or two, yes, Ellie says, reaching into her coat pocket for her pipe and tobacco. It's a damn fine night. Marcy returns from the kitchen a few minutes later, holding two jelly jars about half filled with their neighbor's tasty home-brewed apple wine between two fingers. She's draped two quilts over the other arm, fine night or no, it's a bit chilly out on the porch, and hands one of each to Ellie. Cozy and content, the sisters settle in to enjoy the night and the moon and the chorus of eerie and beautiful lupine voices. And in the hills and the hollers around Baker's Gap, the wolves run full tilt and full of joy. The joy of the hunt, the joy of the pack, the joy of the moon called green. Cam will be posting things for the hashtag Another World October Creative Challenge every day this month over on our Tumblr. Follow us there at oldgodspod.tumblr.com. So come along with me. We got all day to sleep. Let me walk with you tonight. The wind is dying down. Our steps the only sound. Let me walk with you tonight And if the bees should hunt us You, my dear, they will not find I was put here 